Hi, Prakriti. Hi, it's, Yeah, it's nice meeting you again. Yeah. And this time around, we have the opportunity to, to discuss um, in more details about the mentorship program we are having together. Yes. Um, it's, it's, it's really, I'm really pleased that you are the one I'm mentoring. And for me, what I would advise you is you need to be very committed, read a lot, because with that, we, you get to understand the process much better. And I think I'll say, you've already informed me that you'll be following loss and damage. Yes. So I'll say this very interesting um, publication that was done this morning, which I happen to be one of the people who were interviewed. It was done by Chatham House, which is very useful about loss and damage financing. Since you're following loss and damage, and this is an issue, this is a hot cake, or... Uh, yeah. An important issue being discussed in this COP, I think you'll find it very useful. So, how do you see the negotiation process this yeah, first week? I, I wish I had this kind of guidance or, or this kind of access to the documents before because I was in COP26 as well. Yeah. And uh, it feels like COP27 is my first COP because in COP26, um, I, I, as you said, uh, I didn't have any like mentor or, or instructor or guide, guidance. Yeah. I didn't get any guidance uh, to what to follow and what to not. And I used to go to every kind of, uh, every themes, every uh, rooms, take notes. And then um, I, I used to go to adaptation, mitigation, loss and damage, everything. Wow. Because I didn't know that I need to just follow in one for the first time. Then when I was in SBs, uh, I followed loss and damage and I found that was my interest. But, um, but still, I was not uh, aware of many technical things. I'm still learning yeah. and uh, we are in the learning process. So in COP27, when I found that I have a mentor, uh, who can guide me and uh, who have this uh, where I can get access to many like documents uh, so it feels kind of secure uh, that if I don't know anything I can ask you right so yeah. before it, it was not the things I used to get confused I, would, I used to get lost and I used to find it by myself and yeah but now I have uh, one whom I can ask something. So uh, yeah, that would be great if you send me something related to loss and damage and, and also specific to finance, loss and damage finance facilities. Um, I think with IIED, they always emphasize this as a junior negotiator when you come in. Yeah. Try to identify a topic or an agenda item that you are so much passionate about okay. and follow that one. This is not only like UNFCC thematic issues, this is like very personal issue to me, like loss and damage. I have been uh, seeing, in, uh, seeing it uh, in my community, I've been feeling it, that's why um, yeah, I, I will be following this. So moving on, um, I would just like to know what are your what has been your impression about week one mm -hmm. so far? So it was kind of um, hectic but very useful, I got to know more about uh, Santiago network and these technical things before I uh, it was very uh, like jargon but now I am uh, trying to understand this uh, so we have done with this first week and uh, what do you suggest or what do you uh, think that I, I should expect from this uh, coming second week this second week would be a very busy week mm -hmm. we would be here till late at night because so far we are only able to agree on one agenda item, which is the fourth review of the adaptation fund. Yes. We've had an agreement on that. With regards to the other agenda items, we are still negotiating on them. It would um, be sent to the ministerial level, which are our ministers, to discuss on them. But even though we will be here to support our ministers, guide them, provide them with technical um, advice on what positions they need to um, stick on to on behalf of our groups. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That that was very helpful. Thank you.